Welcome to Mathi Botanical Gardens, which along with Nichols Arboretum is a part of the University of Michigan. I'm standing here at the beginning of the Sam Graham Tree Trail. This beautiful trail features trees that are native to Southeast Michigan, which means they're original to this environment. Here you see two types of trees. This tree has leaves that are changing color and are falling. Trees that have broad, flat leaves like this typically lose their leaves in the fall and then grow new ones in the spring. You can think of them as temporary leaves. A word that scientists use to describe temporary is the word deciduous. So trees like this that lose their leaves in the fall in preparation for dormancy in the winter are deciduous trees. These trees have leaves that are green all year long and we think of them as evergreen trees. Both of these trees have leaves that have a waxy coating on the leaf, and that waxy coating protects them during the winter months. They don't go dormant during the winter. They keep their leaves all year round. Most of the trees in Michigan that keep their leaves all year round like this also make something called a cone. The cone helps this type of tree reproduce or make more new trees. Because it makes a cone, we can call it a conifer. So in Michigan, trees that keep their leaves all year round are green and make cones are known as conifers. This is our featured tree, the bald cypress. I love this tree. I mean, look at it. It's magnificent. It's just huge. It's not a native tree, which means it doesn't belong really in this environment. But look at it, it's very happy growing here. If you look at the leaves of the bald cypress, you can see that they're green and pointy. They're normally green and pointy. Well, that might makes me think that this tree is probably an evergreen tree. But if you can feel the leaves, the leaves are soft and pliable. They don't have a thick waxy coating on them. So what's happening here is that the leaves are turning color and falling off this tree. Because they're falling off the tree and the tree is preparing for winter, this tree is called a deciduous tree. The tree's shape, along with the shape of the leaves, might make you think this tree is a conifer. Remember, conifers make cones, so if it is a conifer, we should be able to see some cones on this tree. Unfortunately, it's the wrong time of year for us to see those cones. The tree does, in fact, make cones, and the cones look like this. They don't look like your traditional pine cone, but they are circular little balls attached to the branches of the cypress tree. So because the tree makes cones, and because it sheds its leaves every year, this tree is a deciduous conifer, which makes it pretty unusual. There are not a lot of trees that are deciduous and make cones. If you look at the ground that the tree is growing in, you can see an awful lot of water. This creates a problem for the roots of the tree. Water condenses the soil, you can think of mud, and it makes it very hard for the tree roots to get oxygen out of the ground. I know you're thinking, wait a minute, trees make oxygen. They don't need oxygen. And you're correct, except only the green parts of the tree make oxygen, but all parts of the, tr of the tree need oxygen. So if you go back under the ground, again, underneath the tree, you can see some brown bumps sticking out of the ground. They almost look like they have a little bit of bark on them and they're parts of the tree's root system. They're called knees, or in this case, cypress knees, and they help the root system absorb oxygen from the atmosphere. So the tree is compensating for not being able to get enough oxygen out of the ground that it's in. This is what's known as an adaptation, or a trait that helps something live in the place where it's at. I hope you've enjoyed learning about the bald cypress, and maybe now you know why they call it a bald cypress. Come back and explore the rest of the Sam Graham Tree Trail and many of the other trails here at Mathai.